Drones are not only capable of helping businesses save money through the data that they collect, but they also conduct life-saving operations for police and other first responders, such as search and rescue. Police had already sent out teams of officers, including those with dogs, to find an elderly lady with dementia who had wandered off. They spent hours searching without any success. Luckily, they called on the use of a drone and in less than an hour after the drone was deployed, they were able to locate the woman you see in the picture because of the thermal camera attached to it. Police had said that the lady would likely have not survived the night if she hadn't been found. This is one of hundreds of use cases for these amazing devices that proves why every police service needs drones. Examples like this, where drones can be used, occur on a daily basis across Canada. However, in order for these police services and companies to be able to legally use these drones, you need to pass a test with Transport Canada. Current training methods are very costly, and this poses a problem because the tests are still extremely hard. So many people don't even bother. If they do, many fail and then give up. This means fewer pilots conducting less life-saving operations. We're working on a solution to solve this, with Hover having a UAV e-learning platform designed to help pass those tests and to train pilots for specific operations. This will help companies spend less money in order to train more of their staff and officers anywhere that they're located in order to conduct operations that can save lives and money. Think of a drone version of Ontario's BoatSmart. The drone market is big. With a $22 billion global drone market, worldwide, we have about 15 million pilots individually. Uh, and then in Canada, that is a little bit less at 600,000, uh, with this number expected to grow significantly in the next few years. So far, we're looking at two industries where we've identified a gap and have gotten direct requests for better training. Police having 68,000 officers and construction industry having 800,000 workers in Canada with both the police services and construction companies like PCL Construction having drones, but they don't have a standardized way of training their staff how to use them. After speaking with them, we've identified that this leads to people simply not trying to get their licenses or failing after they pay $10,000 for a training seminar and then giving up. This actually happened at PCL Construction with a 50% fail rate for the tests. The OPP and PCL Construction are actually beta testers with a handful of users right now giving feedback. And shortly, we will expand this out into other individuals and other companies, and then eventually the broader public. From chatting with people in the industries, we've gotten information that the reason for this high failure rate mentioned previously is the difficulty of the tests. It is simply too hard to cram in all of the necessary information to get the licenses in a short time frame. So we've designed a product with this in mind. It has quizzes, tests, and 10 modules in order to help people learn the material in an effective manner while only learning what is necessary in order to pass the test. An example of this is other companies teaching the dynamics of a fixed wing aircraft when all of the drones being used are quadcopters. So this information isn't really relevant. Our business model is a one-time fee per user. We're aiming for 5% availability of the 600,000 Canadian pilots, which is 30,000 pilots at a current average cost or LTV of $150. It is important to note that there is opportunity to increase this revenue through a marketplace that we are creating for drone operations as the demand increases for these drone services. So we have a goal of within five years, hitting that 5% availability, netting us 4.5 million in revenue. There are other companies available for drone training, but many have in-person schools which have been shut down because of COVID and not having an online aspect has been shown to be a weakness. Since most are not entirely online and extremely expensive, Hover is well positioned in the top right as the only completely online service and the most cost effective. A barrier for entry, a barrier to entry for new companies is also our self-declared flight school status, which Transport Canada awards to a limited number of companies. Our team has the skills and background in order to bring this solution to market. With myself being the pilot and CEO, I studied at Smith School of Business, receiving my Master's of Business, and I've been flying and building drones for 10 plus years. On our team is also Claire, who is focused on the customer service side of the business, handling our marketing, strategy, social media, and focusing on acquiring new customers. We also have Keyshawn, who's focused on the business development side. He's a talented designer and is helping to provide an effective and easy to use UI for the customers. 
Finally, we have Tian Yu, who also studied with me at Queens. He has his Master's of Aeronautical Engineering as well, is a pilot, and notably has worked for several years at Transport Canada approving licenses. He has in-depth knowledge of this approval process and has passed on that information into the platform, ensuring that the content is relevant and only what is necessary in order to get licensed. 279. This number is extremely important. It represents the number of lives directly saved so far with drones, not including this year. With the technology getting better every single day, more advanced training is required in order to support these operations. With your help, I will be able to invest in police grade drones to train first responders on specific operations, expand our platform, and reach a milestone of 2,500 users within 18 months. I will then be able to further contribute to increasing the number 279, enhancing the capabilities of our first responders and companies to be more economically efficient, but more importantly, to save more lives. Thank you for listening, and I welcome any questions that you may have.